Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to calculate how much to add to your pool to raise your level. It's pretty basic. I'm just going to give you the basic formula to use and you can apply it to your pool depending on how big it is. So let's say that your chlorine in is 1.0 and you want to raise it to 3.0 and you're going to use the liquid chlorine which is 12.5% active chlorine, available chlorine. So I'm going to show you how to calculate that right now. Okay, here's the example that I give you here in the video. You have a pool that is 22,000 gallons. You want to raise it by two parts per million. Put that in that box. Step two is you take the 22,000 divided by 10,000 gallons. which is a standard amount that they'll put on the package or bottle for the um, dosage. So that comes out to 2.2. And then step three is the amount it would take to raise it by one part per million. Now I'll put the chart in the comments section. And for the 12% liquid chlorine, it would take 10.6 ounces to raise it um, one part per million in 10,000 gallons of water. So I'll show you how to add that together to get your reading. So we'll take box one, which is two parts per million. We want to raise it. We'll times that by 2.2, which is the number we got from dividing 22,000 gallons with 10,000. And then we times that by how much ounces it would take to raise a one part per million, which was 10.6. That'll give us our reading of 46.64 ounces to raise that chlorine level by two parts per million using liquid chlorine. So again, you got the pool size, 22,000 gallons. Step one is how much you want to raise it by, which is two parts per million. Step two is you take the amount of gallons in your pools, which was 22,000, divide that by 10,000. That'll give you 2.2. And then step three, you want to raise it. It would take 10.6 ounces of liquid chlorine at 12% to raise it one part, parts per million. You get this number here from the chart I'm going to give you in the comments section. And then you times part, box one by box two by box three, and that gives you how much chlorine to add to the pool. So it's a pretty easy way to calculate your gallonage. And of course, if you add it and you don't get the desired result, your pool may be too large. And if you add it and you get more chlorine than you want, then your pool may be smaller than you think. So that's the maintenance dose of the chemical. If you're going to shock your pool, the bag will have the amount on it pretty much. I'll give you also a cut screen with the amount on there. Uh, but basically, if you're going to shock your pool, you'll add the amount in there to get your chlorine level up to 10 parts per million. The reason why you want to do that is because if your pool has cloudy water, the ammonia bonds with the chlorine molecule really well. And it's a really strong bond. And so you have to shock your pool to break that and oxidize the pool. And you'll know that most of that that you put in there will be eaten up by the organics in the water and the contaminants in the water. So the 10 parts per million shock treatment won't raise your chlorine for that level for a long period of time. It just tries to get the chlorine activated and get the free chlorine at a high level so that the pool will clear up. But if you're just maintaining your flowing level in a pool like this where it's really clear, then use the maintenance doses that I recommended. And again, only use the shock doses if your pool has issues. So the problem you're going to run into with the 3 inch trichlor tablets is that the, one of the factors with the tablets is the water temperature. So they'll melt, of course, quicker and hotter 
water. Also, where you put them, if you put them in a offline or inline chlorinator, they'll actually um, melt a lot quicker. Also, since water is flowing through it continuously while the pool is running versus a floater, and you can adjust your floater also with various settings. If you're using a standard floater, you can actually close and open it. So that also adds to the difficulty because the dispensers are all different also. So the only way to actually use the trichlor properly and get the measurement is to start off with more tablets and then cut back gradually as the free chlorine level drops. Or you can start with less tablets and add more into them. I prefer the other way because that way the pool will maintain a chlorine reading. So if you put three tablets in the floater, let's say, and you're getting a 5.0 chlorine reading then you probably have too many you can go to one and a half tablets the next week to see if that cuts it down so the tablets are kind of hit and miss as far as getting the right amount even though the manufacturer gives you a dosage chart there's still a lot of variable so they even put it in their instructions that one or two ounces of this product usually will maintain it to one to three parts per million available chlorine but of course, again, the dispensers are all set differently and it's kind of hard to get it adjusted at first. So you have to kind of play with the trichlor tablet adjustment to get the right level.